going on guys asia here with colorado fisher and in today's episode we're going after some crappie it is 49 degrees a bit foggy that's all right these crappies are always eating we're going to get out there and entice them show you some things we're doing to catch them and hopefully we have an awesome sleigh day stay tuned <music> Basically, I throw it right near the rocks, and as I retrieve it, that's when I get that hit. That perfectly steady retrieval is really what helps. So after I cast, it just steady retrieve, not too fast, but not too slow, so you get stuck in rocks. And always a little bit ahead, because what we're doing, we're moving 0.5 miles per hour, so we want to be able to cast in the front. The lure ends up this way by the time you're done with the retrieval. You don't ever have to question if I had a bite or not. I know how the bite feels, especially when they only get the tail. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like a pump. Now, when you catch something big, I always have to ask you, got him. Oh, good job. I always have to ask you, is it a snag? That See, that was such a... Oh, that's a keeper. Good. All right, guys, let me show you what we're using here. We're using a Fluger President Rod Medium Fast Action with a President Reel 6-pound P-Line Floral Carbon. I'm using a Jig Head by Z-Man, 115th ounce with a twister tail in yellow and red. That's what we've been using. So <clears throat> what I've noticed, you guys, too, is when I cast there, and if I don't get that bite within the first 15 feet from the shore, I just end up reeling it in again because i've gotten most of my bites right next to those rocks oh there's a weak there's a there's a mink that I, mink see it. Is, I saw it in the rocks yeah i got one here too and oh that one's not gonna be big enough maybe Damn it. i wanted to get you on video we're gonna have to measure it got him got him got him oh yeah please I think be a crappie did. please be a crappie is it a crappie yes it's a crappie we got him paul yes guys he devoured it. Oh my god. Alright, let's see how heavy he is. But we gotta verify. So the cami. That is gonna be 11. Awesome, he's gonna go, guys. Oh, it's got one as well here. What do we think we have, Paul? Here, I gotcha. Nice. Drum. Drum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got it. Oh my God, I just had two hits. How did it not take? You literally have no luck in catching that one more fish. That is true. I bet if you had a twister tail on, you would have killed them. Got him right at the freaking boat. What do we have? That's not a, that's not a crappie. Probably a drum, I'm willing to bet. Fighting like a drum. Yep, that's that bronze drum. Yep. I'm gonna get the net, folks. I'm gonna get the net. We got him right in the snoogin. All right, threw the fish away at the opposite end. Well, me and Paul have had success just casting it out there with twister tails, let it sink and then steady and really slow retrieval. And you'll feel them tap and hit or they'll take. 
I've been getting them more towards the shoreline, but Paul's also been getting them 10 feet away. As long as we have that slow steady retrieval, so we can pass it right through their water column. Drum have come along the way too. Uh, we've just seen a variety of species. Uh, guys, as you can see, we're fishing some of these transitional areas as far as depth goes. But uh, there's basically, as you can see on the fish graph there, it goes 7, 12, 15 feet. And what's important about that is the fact that there is a change in depth and structure. So they like to hang out in those areas where they can go deep and then shallow to feed and then go to cooler water it's deeper again. So important to see stuff like that on your fish finder and take it to your advantage. Oh, I got wedged in a rock, and then as I'm wedging it, it hits top water. Drop. Nice drop. Yeah. Very nice drop. Six mile line, so we're okay. Beautiful black. Look at this beautiful black crappie, guys. Just a gorgeous black crappie. What I like to do is, as you've seen in the previous catches, get it closest to rocks as I can and just come down that slope right there because it starts at about five, you know, a couple of feet, five, 10, 12, 20, 30, 40. It's like a slope. Then I just do a slow retrieve because these crappies are all over the water column. Damn, get it out there as far as possible, close to the rocks as you can. Don't, retrie don't retrieve too slow when you're at the shoreline, it'll just get stuck. So slow it down when you're finding the deeper water. Got another tap on the tail. Alright guys. I can't do it. Got him. Got him trolling guys. Paul style. I jerked it once or twice. Oh that's a good crappie. Big crappie. Big 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 boy. Stop it for a second, big boy. I think I might just got my master. Where did I get him? There we go. Thank you, sir. You keep focusing. He hammered that, guys. Hammered it. So let's give him a measurement. 12 and a quarter to the live well. So today we, we technically have a little cheating tool. It's called a panoptics made by Garmin. What that panoptic shows us, as you guys can see uh, on the side there, is the school of fish shows, you know, the movement and it's pretty good about showing your allure and the actual fish activity. In addition to that, what you also notice is that we got the Laurent's fish finder as well. Uh, that just, you know, it's a basic fish finder compared to the Garmin, I guess not the compares to the Garmin. But as you can see, it's uh, it's just two different ways for us to identify the fish that are there. 
if the casting doesn't work, I'll take a vertical approach because we did get a few vertically jigging. Just all depends on the mood of the school you find. And I'm also seeing some on a fish finder below me. So I just want to cover the water column under the boat and see if any of those fish I'm marking below the boat are interested. Got him. Got him on the drop, guys. I don't know if it's a crappie though. Ooh, no, it's not a crappie. I am going to bet it's a drum, guys. Nope, nope, it's a drum. It's a nice fat drum. Nice fat drum. Ah, the wrong species, y'all. I thought, I seriously thought I got stuck in a rock there at first. Drum roll. Cookie cutter ten and a half. So uh, another way we've been getting them, guys, is uh, pretty much uh, I take the, uh, the jig and kind of throw it to the side a bit, probably in about ten feet of water, let out twenty feet of line, and then once twenty feet is out, at least what I do is then I close the uh, bale. So then after I close the bale, I, I just uh, you know leave the uh, rod in there and do a couple of jerks every five to seven seconds. We're going about 0.6 miles per hour, and that's what's really helping us dial them in and get them like that. If I do it a little jerk, I've noticed that also helps just get that tail action. It makes it more enticing for the crappie to take a bite. You draw at a certain speed where your tail action is just good enough to entice a bite you're covering a lot more ground, like we're covering this whole two mile stretch. Got him, got him, got him, got him. All right, guys, I don't know. Yeah, I think, don't go too fast. I don't want to lose him. Oh yeah, black, black crappie. We got a black crappie, folks. Back at it again, about 0.6 to 7 miles per hour. And then just cast a little, little line out. Hold it down like this. And usually if the crap here in that area, it happens quick. Got him. Got oh, lost him. That was almost immediate, man. Can't believe he didn't stay on. Alright, we're moving again. Catch up. Oh, got it. Got a crappie. Got another, I think. I got it. Yep. Sure do. We got another crappie, folks. Paul has got a system. Yep. Got him. Got him, Paul. Got him. Got him, got him. Slow it down. Yes. Man, this trolling is effective, y'all. So they're around here. There's definitely a small school around here. Got him, got him. Got him? Got him. 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 Got him.
Oh, he's a good size. Look at that. Yeah, he is. Two casts in a row, man. One is quicker. That's Guys, he's about 11. I'm holding his lip above, so he's good. Casting into the rocks was, was pretty good today. There we go. Come on, baby. Hit fish. Fish on. Another crappie, guys. Another crappie. Another crappie. <coughs> Got to figure it out against that rock. That's that's three fish. And, well, might have missed that first one, but three cast, three fish. Four. Oh, just had a bite. Oh, come back. Got him. Got him. Got him, guys. Crappie. Oh, he hammered it. He swallowed it down his noggin. Down his noggin. I cannot believe how badly he took that. I think the jig had ruined it for me. I can't wait to buy more, though. Oh, I thought you caught that, Paul. I was like, Jesus. Got, got, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Got him. You're killing it. I might have too heavy of a jig. Yeah, yes. Know. Yes. 13, almost 13. Got him. Got him. Definitely not crappie. Question is how big it is the drum. That's actually a chubby one. All right, guys, we're at about 27, 28 fish. So can I keep it going for a little more? Perfect speed. I need to troll. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got him. Crappie, I think. Oh, this is a biggie. Oh man, guys, he devoured. Devoured. How how big you think, Paul? He's 12 and a half, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got him. Yes. Crappie. Oh, he hit twice, too. Oh, yeah, guys. I didn't want to waste any time with that. There we go. He hit that hard, too. Oh, man. Got him, right at the boat, right at the freaking, whoa, what is it, what is it, what is it? Not a crappie, not a crappie. 
has to be a drum. Well, guys, I don't know if we got any of that, but that's what I just landed. The 17 inch drum. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm glad, man. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Perfect wrap. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we're tangled. It's in your boat. I want to cast on this side you're doing it on. I want to see how good I can do it there. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh yeah, oh gosh. I think it's a drum actually. Exactly 11. All right, guys, me and Paul got to keep going here, but the wind is really, really picking up, so probably two or three more fish here. Paul got him. Oh, I think this Paul's got one. Oh, ah, well. He's gotten now. There, he's almost 11. Almost 11. Got him. Got him. Got him, guys. Got him. Just as I complain about how I haven't caught one in a millennia. All right, guys, we're done for the day. We ended up with a lot of crappie. It was a phenomenal day out here. We have caught them in every single way. We even did some experimenting. I hope you guys learned from this episode. We had a lot of good time making this one. I cannot wait to show you. Please, please enjoy this. Comment below, make sure you subscribe. You guys take it easy. We will see you next time.